Hey everybody, I am your girl Candy, and today I have Shamari Dubai, and we are about to speak on it. Yes. I had already heard. I can turn a shade tree into a money tree. <laughs> well, you know, Candy, I, you know, this is all new to me. Like, this whole reality thing. Of course. Yeah, and it's, you know, it was great just being at home and, and doing my thing. And now it's, yeah. like, it's like a whole nother ball game, like where I have to get publicists, I have to get agents, I gotta get this, I gotta get that. It's like so much. But you wanted to be back in the game though. Yeah, but I feel like. <sighs> this is your first year. Mm -hmm. You know, like we've already said on TV, we worked together before. Yes. We've known each other for a million years. Yes. And, <laughs> you know, it's pretty cool being on the same show now. Um, I mean, I was like, wow, you know, when they told me that you were going to be right. here, I always knew that Shamari was funny as hell. <laughs> I knew Ronnie was cool. And I was super happy about you guys being a part of the show. But I definitely feel like there's more that people need to get to know about yeah. you, right. especially. Uh, about the two of you, but definitely sure. about you. For you know? sure. You know, when you, you be in a group, especially. Shamari was in the group Black. Mm -hmm. It's like, we both came from groups. Right. It's like, people know, you know, the group. Oh, baby, bring it to me. Or that girl from... Black, right, or that girl from Escape, but right. it's like this is the moment where people Me should too. get to know Shamari. Shamari. Hello, my name is Shamari Devoe, and I am the newest housewife on season eleven. Shamari, right? Like mm -hmm. so many times, I'm caught. Hey, that's Ronnie's wife over there. Right. Know? Shamari is the wife of Ronnie Devoe from Belle Biv DeVoe and New Edition. That's why I did the show too, because I really wanted people to get to know Shamari DeVoe mm -hmm. as a singer, as a wife, as a mother, and all of these things, all of the components that make up a superwoman, which I call myself all the time. Like, mm -hmm. I just really want people to know who I am, and I want it to come off as very truthful and authentic, because that's who I am. When I came on the show, I was very truthful. Yeah. You are. And very authentic <laughs> and genuine. And a little bit more than people bargained for. <laughs> Cynthia had a game. One of the questions was, who in this group has had an open relationship? Yeah. Right, and that's just who I am. And I just wanted people to see that I'm a real person. There was times where we were both hurting and we didn't want to deal with it anymore. So we thought about walking away from each other. There's nothing fake here at all. Well, that is true. <laughs> That's the one thing that I loved about you this year is that you did not hold back. You did not try to put on right. some fake image right, or whatever. Right. You were just being yourself, which yes. I love. Okay, so we're doing a little speak on it. And normally we speak on the most recent episode. But obviously I had to talk to you about all the episodes because so much has happened right, this season. This yeah. is my first time getting you here. So last night on last night's episode, I noticed you threw... It was fun shade. You know how everybody say it's fun shade? <laughs> I don't know if everybody caught the fun shade, but I caught that fun shade you was throwing at uh, Portia a little bit. You was like, oh, well, you know, she finally realized she's from Decatur and she yeah. knows me from elementary, middle school, <laughs> high school. <laughs> yeah. Did you feel like during the season, do you feel like she didn't yeah. show you that you know y'all were familiar with right. each other. Right, because we had conversations about it, and we talked. To, I told her I was like, I went to Southwest Decatur, went to Chapel Hill Middle and Elementary School, and she just didn't remember me. And I was like, we were even on the drill team together. Ew, you got a lot of nerve. She was like, well, maybe you was in the back. Like she don't. She really <laughs> she was, <laughs> was acting like she didn't know me. Baby, as if. Apparently, I guess she had mentioned that, yeah, we went to high school together. So I guess it started to come back into mm -hmm. her memory log that, yeah, okay, Shamari was. And even if you didn't remember me from high school, you'll remember me from black. So you do know who Shamari is. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, this season, it was funny because we had a few instances where people did not remember. That was one instance for uh -huh. you. But then we also know the instance with uh, Yovana and Eva. And right. so that whole thing about people remembering people <laughs> from the past was like a thing this year it is impossible like i said impossible i don't understand how she don't remember me it was just shady as hell for her to say that she never met me because i was that bitch and we all was looking like <laughs> 
And the reason she said that, and I'm just gonna put it all out there, is because she had a problem with me when we were at Clark. But to also speak on last um, night's episode and to talk about that, um, Proposal was so beautiful. Oh my God, I yes. cried. You cried? Yes, it was so beautiful yeah, because you just sweet. see how how much he loves her and how happy she was yes. to, to, to be pregnant. You just have this mother vibe. And to finally be getting married and to just really start a family for real. Like, man, yeah. I was emotional. And then Lil Mo was singing. Lil Mo song. was singing. Woo! Hey. <laughs> and she can sing her little booty off. Congratulations God, to them. Yes, congratulations. Congratulations on the baby to come. I was wondering, was the baby going to come while I was in, uh, <laughs> in Celebrity Big Brother House? Right. I had not seen Housewives in an entire month. Are you serious? An entire you can't month. Watch Housewives? No, I can't watch TV. What so I heck? did not know what was going on on the show. <laughs> oh, let me also speak on. Um, I guess it wasn't on last night's episode, but the one before when I apologized to Portia about oh, yeah. everything that was said. Right. Um, well, that I said about her relationship with Dennis. My my apology was very genuine, y'all. I feel that way because during that day. Um, well, that dinner, she was talking about how Dennis um, inspired her mm -hmm. to do more. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know they didn't show the whole conversation, but she said a few more things about, um, you know, how in ways that he was helping her in business and career. Right. And, mm -hmm. and she was just happy in relationship and all these different things. And it just reminded me of a lot of the things that I feel about my relationship with Ty. Wow. And then it reminded me back how when me and Ty first got together, um, how everybody used to go in on Ty. Uh -huh. So, right. you know, I was like, damn. How did you feel when yeah. that was happening to you? Right. You know, I ain't even give him a chance. <laughs> I didn't either. I started calling him a leprechaun as soon as I met him. I mean, we all, let you know, just to be clear, you know, I mean, everybody knows everybody in the city of Atlanta and yeah. we all come across information and different things or whatever. So I didn't feel like I was doing anything any different than like what we had done to Cynthia in the yeah. past when we brought up things about, you know, the guy that she was dating before and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. When they got serious and I realized, oh, okay, this right. is for real. This is this is yeah. forever type shit. Right, right, saying? right. They 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 locking it on. They in. locking it on up. Well, let me say this. So with that, I apologize for all that I said. Thank you. For real. Thank you, Candy. And that is why I apologize, people. Okay. All right, so obviously the first thing you caught flack for was talking about the fact that y'all had an open relationship. In the yes, past. yes. Do you regret having that conversation on TV now? I don't regret it at all because that is a part of who I was at the time, my husband and I. That was an experience that we had. Right. But that doesn't, that doesn't make or define who I am today. My whole purpose of sharing that was because I wanted people out there to know that you can go through challenges and mm -hmm. um, you could be damn near on the, on the road to divorce, but you can also go to counseling and pray together and work those things out and become more in love and love each other more deeper and even be a voice for other couples that don't have the courage to share. Now, let me tell you, I feel like you guys are super in love from what I see for a couple that has been together as long as you guys have been together. What? what? I'm about to choke on coffee. Well, no, I'm just saying as long as you guys have been together, I still see the love. Yes. You know what yes. I mean? Now, don't be spilling nothing. I'm not gonna spill nothing. Now. You know, I know about the recording studio equipment. I now. normally don't even let people sit stuff on. Oh, okay. Hold on, let me put it on the floor then. Come on, let's put it right here. Let's put it right here on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just feel like you guys definitely, um, for you to have had challenges in your marriages, in your marriage, it doesn't seem like it. Like now, right. when I look at you guys, it seems like y'all newlyweds almost. Man, like y'all so yes. happy all the time when y'all together. Yeah. It's just really cool to me. Your your right. relationship is very cool to me. And I mean, obviously, you know, I'm come from <laughs> the more open nature myself. Yes, Kanye. And you know, I don't really regret saying anything that I've ever said because one thing about it, can't nobody come back and throw any of that in your face. Can't nobody. Because you already said it for the world to know. Exactly. So they can't come back to you with anything. They so can't say cool nothing. And let me say, like me and my husband, we know everything about each other we had our day of declaration but we had to lay it all out on the table so it's mm. nothing that nobody can come to him and say that I did because he knows everything and nothing that anybody can come up to 
Me? Mm-hmm. Wait, did I just say that? Mm-hmm. You, I get what you But saying. you know what I'm trying Vice to say. Vice versa. Vice versa. There's this feeling that's hard to contain. I just think it's it's just amazing the communication that we have learned over the years, the mm-hmm. active listening and all of those things like just learn you never stop learning about each other. It's a connection we just carry You know, and it just gets better and better like the fights that we used to have. We don't argue about that anymore. Over and over you show me again. It's done. It's over because we right. learn from it. So we're like best friends. We're twin flames. We look alike, right? Y'all do. Tell me. How do you feel being, now you went from just chilling, being in the background for a while, Mm -hmm. you know, not really living a public life like you used to back when you were younger. So you've been living this kind of like behind the scenes life Mm -hmm. for a minute. And now you on Bravo. The number one show on Bravo. You real housewife. You got a peach. How do you feel? What's the difference? The difference is... (laughs) I am no longer Ronnie's wife. Mm -hmm. I am no longer the girl from Black. Now Mm -hmm. people know me as Shamari. Like, Shamari, can I take a picture with you? Like, forget your husband. No, (laughs) (laughs) No, but now it's just just different because this is such a huge platform. Mm -hmm. And you know that all of these people that are, you know, wanting to talk to you and take pictures with you, they know your story. They know that we had an open relationship. Right. They know that I've dated women before. Like, they know it. But so it just feels weird. Like, the whole world just knows. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Everything that's going on in my life. They, they know your kids. Though. They know my kids. They're like, oh, my God, the twins. And they know things about them. I'm like, oh, my God, that is right. That was on the show. But it, it, is, it is a blessing because I get to meet so many people mm-hmm. and... I also get to touch people with my story. You know, Mm -hmm. there's people that love the fact that I am relevant to to what, you know, they may be going through in real. I just feel like it it is a great platform for my testimony, my voice, everything to be heard. And plus, I get to be with you, Candy. (laughs) Candy, you're great. Do you realize that you saved Black's life? What you mean? (laughs) Okay, so, you know, when 808 came out, right? you know, and it was really doing good on the R&B side, but you really helped to, like, flip it when you came and you wrote the remix with the going back to Cali. Like, you really put us on the map on the pop side, like made the record more mainstream. So that was just really awesome. We started doing like pop radio shows. I do appreciate you for that. And just being on the show with you is is an honor. I just wanted to say that. Candy. Aww, that's dope. Oh, um, <laughs> well, like, that's dope. Well, you know, I mean, I'm glad I was able to be a part of yes. your journey. How do you feel about, let's start your feelings about women on the show? Because, you know, I've been gone for a month, right? <laughs> I've been gone. I went to Celebrity Big Brother for a month, and I'm just getting back home. Yes, welcome but back. Before I left, you and Marlo was having some serious oh. <laughs> Twitter beef back and forth. What was happening there? How Miss Marlo came into my room and wanted to dress me today. Yes. You know, oh, and it's Marlo. like, really? I'm trying to help you? <laughs> and this is the bank I get? Oh, no. <laughs> you know, Candy, I just... <laughs> I don't... Did, have y'all talked since then? Well, actually, I went to an event that her and Rico Chappelle put on. Okay. Uh, they did... He introduced his new line and she hosted the event. So I saw her there and everything was great. You spoke? Yeah, we spoke. Oh, good. Yeah, hello, hi, how are you doing? It Bro. Was, it was just, I just want, you know, I went to support her and it, and it was a fashion event. So, you know, I had to go and show my little fashion off because she's always talking about my fashion, which is fine. With yeah. me, but it's, <laughs> apparently she has an issue with it. I think people just get confused when they see me because I look the same way that I did back in the 90s mm-hmm. and, and, and it kind of shocks them. So they call me outdated because they're so, you know, they're used to seeing, they think I'm gonna look old. Ah. So they feel, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like a lot of people out in this world, if they were more true to themselves and and put on what they wanted to wear rather than what other people 
are wearing like labels and Gucci's and mm-hmm. Fendi's and all of that stuff like people have to realize that they're more than just a label like you For know, sure. your value is is more than that you're a humanitarian or philanthropist or something like that what are you doing mm-hmm. in the community who cares about the clothes that I choose to put on my body so you know that's kind of stems back to that with Marlo just going at me with the fashion and I just got tired of it mm-hmm. and I just had to speak on it I had already heard well let me just say you had a couple reads on that social media time. <laughs> I was like, where was this Shamari when we were in scene? Oh. Now, you know what? I feel like during um, the season while we were taping, I feel like when anytime somebody is new to the show, yeah. they really don't know if they should go as hard as yeah. they can go or yeah. they hold back a little bit because they don't really... Like, be like, wait, are we supposed to? Right. Like, you don't know. It's just shocking. But yeah, but now, when I saw those tweets, I was yeah. like, okay, she's not holding back no more. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have to adjust to it. Like, there's so many different women in the room, and everybody has these strong personalities, and you're like, wait a minute, should I say something, or should I not? Or should I just let them have that argument? Right. You know, it's just, it's just a different experience. So, you know, the more that I get adapted to the situation and, and feel more comfortable, yes, you will definitely see Shamari reading. When the house Wives are going to events or having events, you know, they all, you know, partake oh, in a little. This. I don't been to the doctor's office. Let me cover that up a little bit. I'm okay. Don't worry. Okay, good. I'm healthy. Maybe a baby on the way. Ooh, well, you know, we're working on that. You are? Yes. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. Yes, I'm getting my body ready right now for this baby, so. Oh, that's cool. We want a girl. That is awesome. Mm-hmm. We're working on a girl, too. <gasps> Unfortunately, my body ain't ready. But yes. my surrogate's body is getting ready. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> That show, they showed that on the show yes, last night too. It's yes. so crazy. Um, yeah, we're still going through the process. It's a, it takes way longer than you think. Are you gonna use? Never mind. You probably can't. Talk I don't. About that. I'm not even talking about you know right. who we're using, how it's happening, or whatever. But it is happening. But it's coming soon. And and you're gonna have twins. Go ahead, speak it into it. Woo! You gotta have twins. It's hard. So I mean, just so you know what you're getting yourself into with two of them, it's hard. But as long as you have nannies, you have help or whatever, it'll it'll be good. I'm just I'm just so happy for you because twins are a blessing. No, if I could have another set, I would. But you my would? husband, yes, I would. But my husband's not having it. He's already told me no. This is what I want to talk to you about. Yes, ma'am. Um, going forward in the episodes to come, mm-hmm. and I think maybe they might have touched on it a little bit already, but the cast or the women of the show, they like to talk about your drinking habits. Okay, the women of the show like to talk about my drinking habits, but well, everybody except for you drinks. Well, yeah, everybody drinks except for me. Except for you, so. Well, yeah. What about my social drinking habits? Well, your social drinking. Yes. Um, I think a couple times during this season, this episode coming up. Yes, the bi wig party. You had a little too much <laughs> to drink. I did, I did. Now, without giving away everything that people may see, when somebody says, you know, speaks on your drinking, what is your response to that? I think people just need to loosen up people. Like, don't act like you ain't never been out and had a little bit too much to drink. This is realness right here. I am a mother. I, who likes to go out every now and then, let her hair down, and when I started on the show, like, I'm just now getting back out and socializing. Like, you guys are like Mm -hmm. the first, you know, group of women that I've been around, Mm -hmm. and, you know, coming from just being pregnant and breastfeeding for the past two years, and Mm -hmm. then all of a sudden drinking again, my whole body chemistry's off, my hormones is different, so I have to really figure out what my tolerance level is. Mm -hmm. But yes, I did have too much to drink, Mm -hmm. and and that happens to the best of us, the best of us, and it's not one of my best moments. Mm-hmm. I'm, not, I'm not proud of it, mm-hmm. but it happens. It definitely happens. Um, but this is my thoughts on it. You know, I'm not a drinker, so I don't really have anything to say about right. you know somebody drinks. So I don't, you know, that's your thing. I don't really care. But um, the thing about it was, she wasn't driving, so I feel like there you go. If she chooses to have a few drinks, you know, she can do that. And because I know how when things are on the show, you know, it can be twisted and different things. And even if you only, let's say, you only got drunk one time or two times on camera, right. and that was the only time you got drunk the entire year, they still label you as an alcoholic, right? Exactly. <laughs> Just because. Exactly. And um, right. that's the tough part about being on TV. Exactly. 
exactly. You are you know. put up there for all types of judgment, people to make perceptions about you, scrutiny, everything. And that's just one of the things that I have to accept because this is not for everybody. Right. Everybody won't be able to deal with all of the comments and everything that are posted on my page and e people even talking about your children and things oh, like that. Oh, they be doing the most. They do the most, but you know what? As long as you are, you know, secure with who you are mm -hmm. and, and you know that you have family and you have friends and people that truly love you and know who you are. Yeah. And that's really all that matters. Um, how do you feel when people make comments about children and different things on social media? I just saw one of my friends, she was speaking on that today. And she's just like, I'm not happy and yeah. I'm not tolerating. Isn't that crazy how people do that? Yeah, because it's like, it's one thing if it's about you. Right. But when you bring your family into it that has innocent children that have nothing to do with any of this. Right. Like, that's just crazy. And people that do that are just miserable, insecure. Like, that's just the bottom of the totem pole. I don't think that anybody should make comments about anybody's children. And when they make comments about my children, I just give them free tickets to the block party. <laughs> okay. Hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Block <laughs> party. That's right. All right, Shamari. I just want to say thank you so much for joining me for yes. this week's Speak On It. That's right, of And course. everybody, please subscribe to my channel. Make sure you keep tuning in for my Speak On It videos. I had already heard. I can turn a shade tree into a money tree.